and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Slant Bont Swain. It's going to be our first deck today. Basically combining Bilgewater and Noxus and combining all sorts of good Bilgewater and Noxus cards. And we got this new card that I haven't played before. Well, besides today, I've been playing this card a bunch today. But Slotbot's looking really, really good. This is a card that just got um, buffed in the last patch, in patch 1-2 from yesterday. It used to be, start as an 0-3, now starts as a 1-4. And uh, eh, it's pretty cool full art, too. Um, and yeah, it can just get really, really big really fast. Just a, a great three-mana card. And like the three-mana slot was something that was... Uh, it was hard to find good three mana cards in, in both Bilgewater and Noxus. Honestly, you're looking at like Jaw Hunters and Crimson Curator are probably like your only decent options. And Slotbot, I think, is a lot more powerful than either of those. Not necessarily Jaw Hunters all the time, but anyway. So yeah, we're we're gonna be playing that. And now if we're gonna if Slotbot's gonna be a really big creature, I I want to have a deck that uh, can reward that can can take advantage of that. I, and so I'm going to go with a more aggressive version with Noxus, with having all sorts of little uh, damage things um, that, you know, then having a big creature to finish the game, the opponent can't just sit there and take hits from the slot bot. Like, they're going to have to block. Um, so, yeah, we're going um, Bilgewater plus Noxus. I've been really liking this deck. I've, I've just been playing this deck uh, today, honestly. Like, I've just been... Uh, playing a bunch of games of this deck earlier and uh, yeah really enjoying it so let's get to it this is the deck I was super excited to play today besides that we're gonna be playing four others because there will be no stream on Saturday as you can see I um, have something else I got to do so no stream Saturday so we'll be doing uh, five decks today probably five decks tomorrow and then probably five decks Sunday, and then that will basically, instead of doing four each day, we'll do five for these three days, and then we'll only miss out on one total deck. And I'll just kind of spread out the videos over on YouTube and cover up Saturday. All right, but let's go. Let's let's play five games over in ranked with Slotbot Swain. And we're in the 100s now. Thanks, yeah, yeah, I'll enjoy having a day off. Don't have too many of those, but that's okay. Um, all right, so we're gonna mulligan two of these and could see mulliganing this other Twisted Fate also and just trying to have early pressure. I think I, think I wanna do that. You know, a lot of times we keep Twisted Fate, but I, I wanna find some earlier pressure. Hmm. If they don't break, Not the best two drop to play on its own. At but it's foundations. what we got. Heard there was a little fella asking for me. This is a real spin to win. All right, we're gonna be spinning to winning. All right, Slotbot, hi, what's up, Skya? Dude, Slotbot's looking really, really good. Possible should just block and then have Parlay kill the Peddler. Possible. These slot bots are gonna get really big. They're hard to kill. Have a mushroom. Have three. Hmm. Clear it out. I don't want to risk the the slot bots taking damage. Hey Reaper. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. <laughs> I 
I think that's a worthy trade. This is a kind of game that can definitely go longer and Puff Cat Peddler can get a lot of damage across. You know, get a lot of Puff Caps that deal damage. Yeah, absolutely, Reaper. Of course. Yeah, and you want the first slot tomorrow, right? So that'll be... You know, we start start the stream early. This is unfortunate. That Slotbot went down to being two toughness. And they were able to kill both Slotbots early. Hmm. I want to kill Puffcat Peddler. Yeah, I'm going to kill the Peddler. I think we'll be able to kill this Twisted Fate before it levels up. But getting that peddler out of there is important before we get a bunch of puff caps. Okay. Yeah, remember, so tomorrow's a super early stream, so it's going to be like uh, five hours before this. It's not super early, but, you know, it's just a morning stream. Chain... Vest, Monkey Idol, Dawn Speakers. Get Invincible Monkey. Okay, okay. That is a pretty sweet meme to your Monday idea. I'll write that down. No, I haven't seen that at all, Reaper. Do chain vest plus monkey idol. Plus Dawn Speakers. I think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. Okay, that should be better. I definitely regret mulliganing both Twisted Fates. Wish I would have kept one of them. save that. Ezreal's only at 1 out of 8. Not too far. Riptide Rex. It's a way to level up Ezreal right there. Hey, high tech. R 
T-Rex. And it's taking their time. Possible I should have had the 7 4. Okay, they had gotcha. I say it's possible I should have had the 7 4 challenge the 0 1 because of Make It Rain. But that's okay. Alright, so I think we've done 12. I think we're good there. to 16 cards left or actually 14 cards left Lord, courage, excuses for war. get him swain don't think they have any removal to kill swain because it's bigger than thermogenic beam at this point so they got to play a Three power things, the fearsome to be able to block, to be able to block Swain. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. War Mason, reporting for duty. Bestow upon them the gifts of our empire. You are the many. Hmm. Wish I had the mana to play this pick a card right now. We'll play it for the next turn. Got a surprise for him. Likely outcome Clear is up. Static Shock. Because that's the best possible card, so that's why it's the likely outcome. Lots of cards. Hmm. It's not bragging if you can back it up. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Be dead. Destination in sight. Artillery barrage. Yeah, it looks like we're dead. I, mm, nah, that wouldn't have worked either. Ugh. Give me one more damage. Can't kill this Ezreal. Duty, Empire. I'm so good, I surprised myself. GG's. For the Empire. 
Empire. Should have dropped fog. Frog. Well, this I could. This I I couldn't like I didn't have any plun uh, any plunder. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They have all this burn. I think that's a matchup that we'll win. You know, 70% of the time. They just had a great hand, and my hand was very poor. Did have my two slot bots, but that's really all I had for the longest time. They had thermo like. There was a couple of times where they had to have Thermogenic Beam, and if they don't have Thermogenic Beam, they lose. And they, they had Thermogenic Beam both, like, a couple of times like, when they needed it. Oh, with the pick a card. Yeah, I guess we could have it. I don't think it would have mattered. Like, I think they had enough burn to kill me anyway, even if I would have. But yeah, I guess I should have got rid of the Black Market Merchant. I don't, I don't, I don't think I should have gotten rid of Black Market Merchant. Um, I think we'll keep two Crimson Disciples. Yeah, we'll do that. What have you felt are so far the competitive decks besides Demacia and Heimerdinger? Um... Well, yesterday, we didn't really have the most success with either of those. Yesterday, we played um, a couple Hecarim decks, and Hecarim was just awesome. You know, we, we went 9-1 and one with Hecarim decks yesterday. Uh, but then, you know, we had the Vladimir, Sejuani, felt great. I I do like I like these Noxus stuff. Like, I really like the deck that we're playing right now. I like, um, yeah, I really like just like a whole bunch of different combinations of Freljord, Noxus, and Bilgewater together. That's those are all the decks that I really like the most. My turn. Let's get a good look at you. They have, like, Take Heart. Then it does, like, one point of damage. So I'm taking two damage either way. I do think it's worth it to have both of these be two ones, and then they lose two life. Like, if I'm taking two damage either way, my option is either just take the two damage, or um, make both of these two ones, and then they also take two damage. And then especially with having the transfusion in hand, I think that's the best option. Alright, so I want to play Make It Rain to kill this. I know I could go Twisted Fate red card, but Twisted Fate is just really valuable. It can do a whole lot of things. The red card and the Make It Rain are the exact same thing. Um, I also think the Deep Sea Monster decks are good, and so I, I wanted to try that out myself, and so we're going to be playing Deep Sea Monsters later today. You can see that's on the on the docket. I think that's a good deck. I also think that Champion List Elusives is a really good um, budget deck, and so I want to give that a try as well. Never lost a 
fair game. Or played one. Or played one. Dead in their tracks. What did we get? Mm. I'm not greedy. My no. Hard to have. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I kind of also want more experience with the deep sea deck. I'm not like exactly sure what's like the best against deep sea monsters, deep sea monsters, and. So therefore, I kind of want to give that deck a try myself as well, and just kind of see how it acts. A winner is you. You own what you take. Yeah, Punt's deck's also great. Love Vladimir, or sorry, Swain's uh, Sejuani. They have a very good deck as well. You gotta trust your instincts. Love a taste of the action. Is it a very close game, but looks like they're going to be winning with their champions. Take it up with my friends. Routes closed. You're bluffing. So I have two options. I can either kill the Yordle Grifter or keep the slot bot alive and cover up the damage that Sejuani would deal. Oh wait, as soon as this levels up? Oh no, as soon as that levels up it does that. Ugh. Your path ends here. Probably should have saved something with the elixir of iron. Mm. 
Man, I just wish I could play Riptide Rex somehow, but I don't think that there's any way that I can. Realistically. If they don't break, they'll burn. Make the Empire proud. I wish there was some way I could play it. Searching for suck winners. Should have just attacked first. I would have got would have rather gotten Imperial Demolitionist off the battlefield than Omen Hawk. But either way, I wanted to just get you know get one of their attackers off the battlefield. Hey, new bloco, doing good. Doing good. I'm kind of sad that we're going to be 0 and 2 with this deck. I was. This is why I've been playing today and been super excited about. It. I was 4 0 today, which is you can see I'm in the top hundred now. So I was 4 and 0 playing this deck, and now of course I start the stream up, and now we're 0 and 2. Play again. That's my favorite. But, I mean, opponent's deck's also great. Not many people are playing Swain Sejuani. But it's also awesome. The first the first game we probably should have won. I I should not have mulliganed to Twisted Fate or I don't I don't know. Everything really went right for our opponent the first game. I I don't think we would lose that matchup very often, but everything went right for them. Yeah, I'll look for my Swain Sejuani list. Um, I think... I'm a serious gamer. Ah, <laughs> there you go. I think that YouTube video is our my last time to play it. I haven't really looked at it since since then. I guess that was a week ago. hands. What are these hands? Either draw, you know, no swains or all the swains. Nothing in between. Oh, come on. <sighs> we had such a good stream day yesterday. And then today I was doing so well also. And now suddenly we're about to be 0-3. Like, what is this garbage? Frustrating. Streamer life. The... What? Nothing works. You're on camera. By my hand, Noxus rise. I must get out of here. Choices. 
We get one more powder monkey. A weird choice. To play at this point. I guess. Uh, they're gonna have. If they have make it rain. That's bad. Obviously, I'd want to go straight to combat challenge here and then do that but then if, if they have make it rain um i guess if they do then i go noxion fervor and kill that thing okay noxion fervor kill the powder keg Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Do have a backup Swain. Okay, yay, this works. This works, this levels up, Swain. Yes, I can kill the. I can use the ravenous flock to kill Gangplank. But then, if they kill the Swain, then I have no Swain left. I kind of like having this backup Swain. And, and therefore, I don't want to play the Demolitionist and kill uh, my Swain with it. Come on, hit him. No. Ugh. You weren't using it. Dang. Fortunate. Um. I 
Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Alright, so my problem, like, obviously I want to red card and kill everything with the, you know, go Petty Officer, Twisted Fate, red card. But the problem is if they kill, I just have to do this. If I, if I try that and if they kill my Powder Keg in response and so it doesn't do two damage to everything, I can't really afford this Gangplank staying alive and making a Powder Keg at the round start and attacking. I can't afford that. So I just have to do that even though I don't want to. Just passed. Let's play two other things. Now nah, we're doing this. I need more runs. I'm always up for a round or two. I'm surprised that, kind of surprised we're still alive. We started off so poorly without doing a single thing the first however many turns, but now we're still alive. Haven't died yet. Of course, I was planning on uh, the next turn going Demolitionist Riptide Rex if they didn't have that vengeance. was the plan. Alright, 8 mana, so I can have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 10 mana, so I can go a 4 drop, and oh, I can't wait. 3, 2 drops, or maybe we'll just go 4 drop, 4 drop. Keep up, keep up. Our deck is actually bad. Well, you were wrong. We have had uh, bad luck for sure. Like I just played it before the stream, and I was 4-0, and, and you know we were, I was at like low 200s and went to like mid 100s and, and masters, and and like I the games weren't like necessarily like super close, like just. Not working out here. Be now, but so of course I want to play the box first before playing Earth Tigrex, but I just don't have time. I don't. I can't play the box first because I play the box, then they go straight. To, then they go to combat, and that's a problem. So I have to play the Rex first. Wow, they didn't attack with Gangplank? That's good for me, they did not attack with, with Gangplank. Uh, basically I'm saying because of the Gangplank trigger, that would have dealt another point of damage to me. So I'm glad they didn't. We 
We should have this now. Yeah, we definitely have this now. Remember the objectives. Make the Empire proud. If they don't break, they'll burn. They have another the box and they wait for me to play all that and now they play the box. Try to have just make it rain, parlay, parlay. To finish them off. Unless they drew some life gain for four mana, which is not likely. Couple parlays. Whenever our opponents stabilize at two. Yeah, we're coming back. We're coming back. Get that win. We'll get the next one. Well, we can't have a worse hand than that. That's right, Grace Claw. Yeah, we're gonna be playing Elusive later on. I did not play against Demacia at all. Or actually, no. I, I well, I played against the Misfortune Quinn deck. Um. Jacket Butcher. New recruit reporting in. Um, charge? Jacket Butcher, Crimson Disciple are the two best cards to see in the opener. If they don't break, they'll burn. Yeah, the best deck for Quinn is Misfortune Quinn. Mm, a delicious challenge. I won't back down. Wow. Can you stomach this? Great. No one goes hungry. 
Still eats the barrier. So that's good. Well, good news, they don't have Bannerman. Bad news, I have Bannerman. Basically, I want to do this before, like, if they have another, if they have a Bannerman, I don't want them to, um, you know, play Bannerman, make those, like, three toughness. I want to do that first. Yeah, that is a pretty good curve. Alright, let's see. What do we got? Guess it's Yordle Grifter. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you don't want to class. No, Yordle Grifter. Kinda makes sense that a miss, all we've been drawing is bilge water cards beforehand. So we were due for a Noxus card. Head to the face! Positive fair. Um charge! Eat up, friend! Your path ends here. One four. Oh, they get the two mana one four for their elite Vanguard Lookout, I think. But that's their their card they get. And I also really hope they don't have Cythria or anything like real big like that. I want them just to play a couple of small things. Maybe all of the small things. Hesitation to tell. Smell that? The fights are cooking. Oh, right, I don't have the Black Market Merchant in play anymore. I was like waiting for the Fleet Feather Tracker to go down to zero mana. All right, take their bannermans. Flavor and spice. The day don't need riches. Taste the glory. You get yours. Here comes two mana, one four. Don't be scared to play it. Oh, so close. Two mana, two too tough. Slotbot. It, no other attacks. No other attacks. I'm out. Take me for a spin. Ha ha. 
All right, here we go. Is it Riptide Rex turn? Or they're blocking them both. Ooh, Riptide Rex turn. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. Playing guarantee or for champions. For justice, for Demacia. No, that's for Demacia. You're Garen. You win. How do you wield such a clumsy weapon? With justice and honor. Hmm. Like, I want to fire these four Demacios out at them. But if they just cast... I was going to say, if they cast four Demacia at slow speed... Probably supposed to kill Garen. Garen's pretty good. Your move. I think those were both Fiora Repost, weren't they? Yeah, because it just says Fiora, Fiora, so that's just a, a bug there. That's Fiora's repost, Fiora's repost. Not bad. Stay resolute. Our winner is you. Who does not know the name Laurent? Who doesn't know the name Laurent? So obviously I wish I would have just done the three damage to them after that. A long path to get Searching for some winners. Aha. Hold fast. This is my opponent. I was gonna say, like, the previous turn, I was like, man, they really don't have very many champions. Wait, what? Oh, wow. I thought I, I thought I was gonna win that. Wait, what? I guess it leveled... What? Oh, the game was over. Huh. That's how that works? What even happened? 
So it levels up like mid judgment. Like it does like one damage, levels, like does, strikes one of them and then levels up and then starts striking for six. What? How, how would I know which one it would strike first? Would it strike the one on the left first or the one on the right first? Even if, like if I was, how was I supposed to know that? I definitely thought about Judgment, and like with the Transfusion, I wasn't worried about Judgment. Like with that all-out attack, I definitely considered Judgment how they didn't cast four Demacy on defense, um, but thought I was still going to be able to win. I didn't. I didn't know that that would happen at all. I could have. I could have definitely played around Judgment if I would have known it worked like that. Like, I don't even want to count that as a loss, like, as a 1-3. Like, that's that's ridiculous. I mean, I guess it's a loss, but that's ridiculous. But I've never, I've never seen that happen like that. Yeah, shouldn't it? Strike all simultaneously? Like, I've never... I did not think that was going to happen at all. Like, I was already writing down a win. I guess Judgment Strikes... I think maybe left to right? Like, the animation kind of makes it look right to left. I don't... I don't know. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. Y'all think it's a bug? So I didn't just knowingly walk into Judgment and lose the game. Definitely a card I was considering, because we played Pilfered Goods the turn before, so if they would have had, you know, and stole two cards, so it was possible they drew another Garen. Oh, just so weird. This is one of the best hands we've had so far, though. Like, we actually had, you know, Jagged Butcher on one, or just, you know, Jagged Butcher early, but then we have Crimson Disciple on two. Slot bot on three. Actually have our early cards early. Yeah, I know Judgment strikes everything, and that's why Fiora wins off it, but I didn't... I didn't know Garen would like level up mid strike. I didn't I thought it just struck everything at the same time. I didn't know it went in order of like, okay, strike this one on the like strike one on the left or the right. I don't know which way it goes. And then check to see if Garen levels up. And then strike the next thing, then check, and then strike the next thing, then check. And so on. I I was not expecting that. Slotbot, stop going down to two toughness and letting people kill you. Keep you keep this health really high. War Mason, reporting for duty.
All right, so if that, if that worked, I would have cast Pilfer Goods, but that didn't work, so we'll cast the Crimson Disciple. It's really unfortunate. Got unlucky slot bot. All I care about is that health staying up high. I don't care about that attack. But, oh well. Real good start for our opponent. Got double swing. Uh, yeah, I, I disagree. I think slot bot's good. If, if I wouldn't play slot bot, like if you want to take, if you don't, if you're not a slot bot believer, Jaw Hunters is, is the next best card. Like Jaw Hunters is really good. That's the card to play. Instead, if you, if you wanted to replace Slotbot. The thing is, is like if if Slotbot survives a couple of turns, it goes crazy. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. What do you want to do? Okay. That was a really bad pill for goods. I don't want either of these cards at all. I just, you know, I'm thinking about using this transfusion. Um, I don't know. I, like, I don't even know if that's worth it. I have another Swain in hand, remember. For the Empire. The few for the many. If we don't use transfusion, the other demolitionist is at one health. Obviously another Mystic Shot was the best card they could have. <clears throat> I had that. And Ezreal's about to level up already. So Mage Seeker Conservator gives them a expensive, yeah, gives them a, a bomb card. All right, Swain does a lot more damage. We could do Twisted Fate blue card and go towards level up, but. 
This does a lot of damage. It's, I, it's gonna be really hard for them to kill this Wayne before it strikes. Strike at their foundations. Cause you know, I'm trying to end this game. Still got six cards over there. But we're looking good. All right, so they do have leveled up Ezreal. But there are one life. And I don't think they have life gain. So I think this game's over. Twisted Fate finish it out. Red card's cool. Alright, so we only went two and three. But I think this deck's really good. <laughs> I do. I think that there's a lot of things that went against us in there. That Demacia game was ridiculous. We should have won that. So that should have been that should have been three and two. I was already writing it down, and then um, yeah, that Garen thing was crazy. So whatever, should have been three and two, and um, and then that other game against Twisted Ezreal. And we had a couple of games like where our hands were awful. And their hand was great. Like I think I think that our deck's gonna do just fine against Twisted Ezreal over the long haul. But anyway. Um, you know that's that's how that's how card games go. You know there is randomness in here, and and you don't always win. Yeah, like I said, I I was playing this. This is what I was doing like all day today. I was playing this. I played four games uh, before the stream and went 4-0, and I was super excited about playing. So I I do think this deck's really good. You know I've had a lot of success with it today. You get to do a lot of damage. With these Noxus cards, so you're pressuring the Nexus. And while you're doing that, you still have good card advantage because you still have Black Market Merchant, Pilfered Goods, Twisted Fate, Yordle Grifter. You still have card advantage, um, plus just raw power uh, attacking them. Um, uh, Slotbot didn't get to go crazy for us. Um... A lot of times, like, you know, like, uh, when it says, like, shuffle my stats, it kept shuffling the stats to be, like, two toughness, then it would get Mystic Shot. Um, that kind of thing. That happened a few times. Um, I'm going to be trying out Slotbot again in the Twisted Fizz deck later on. Y'all know that Twisted Fizz has been my rank up deck of choice for the last couple of weeks. But there's been a, f a few cards, like the last like three cards in that deck I haven't loved, and I've tried a lot of different things. We're going to try slot bots in that deck today. Uh, so that, that'll be my fifth video today. But anyway, there we go. That's it here for slot bot Swain. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Also, try this deck out. Let me know how it goes. Um, I think you should be doing a lot better uh, than some of those games. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think of the deck over there. Anyway, thanks so much for watching the video, and I'll see you for the next one.